It seems the priority position this summer for Manchester United, among other positions, is central defence. Now we do know that they've made a bid for the Everton defender Jarad Brantway. We think that bid was in the region of around PS4 0 million. It of course was rejected by Everton. They value him at around PS7 0 million. United are now discussing internally whether they're going to go back in for Jarrod Brantway, but I'm told that if Everton don't bring down their asking price and United are going to move on to other targets. It's kind of a different way to approach their transfer policy compared to previous years now that Ineos have come in. They don't want to get drawn into long sagas that last throughout the summer. They have clear ideas about how much a player is valued, and if that doesn't match with the selling club, then they are willing to turn their back on a particular signing and move on to other targets. Those are the targets that I mentioned and will be mentioning this week on One Hour Sports. Crystal Palace's Mark Gehi, who's obviously with the England squad at the moment, Lille's Lenny Yoro, and significantly maybe Nice's Jean Claire Tudibo. Of course, Ineo's ownership at Nice and of course part ownership at Manchester United as well. They have been long term admirers of Thibault would have Manchester United. And the other reason why you look at the central defensive issues for Manchester United that so many injuries there last season, I think there was up to 15 different centre back partnerships throughout the season. Add to that, Rafael Varane will leave the club upon the expiration of his contract this summer, so they will need to fill that gap. Victor Lindelof is into the final year of his contract, and when a player enters the final year, it's usually sell or renew time. So they will have to make a decision with regard to Victor Lindelof. Johnny Evans, who had that short-term one-year contract last season, his contract is up, but Manchester United are continuing talks with Johnny Evans about potentially doing another one-year deal at Old Trafford. OK, lots of speculation about Jadon Sancho's future. What is the latest? What do we know? It's possible he's played his last game for Manchester United because we understand that Manchester United are listening to offers for Jadon Sancho. Remember, they bought him for £73 million from Borussia Dortmund. Borussia Dortmund, of course, had him on loan last season, and they remain in talks with Manchester United over a permanent deal. Juventus have also approached Manchester United. They're two of a number of clubs in Germany and Italy who are interested in Sancho. We understand that United's valuation of Jadon Sancho is around £40 million, so it would represent a big loss. But having said that, clubs like Dortmund and Juventus might still find it difficult to even afford the £40 million that Manchester United may be quoting clubs for his services on a permanent deal. Look, we do know he was on loan, as I mentioned before, at Dortmund, but we think this summer United will probably only consider permanent deals for Jadon Sancho. It looks like they want to just start on a clean footing and a clean slate, so they've decided Jadon Sancho probably isn't going to be part of United's future. Let's sort that out in this summer. And if that deal can come to fruition, be it at Dortmund, Juventus or another club, United are looking at that position with other targets. Crystal Palace's Michael or Lies. There seems to be a release clause, and depending on which report you believe it differs what that release clause is, but Manchester United definitely interested, and internally they are discussing whether they're going to make that interest more formal. And another player that they're looking at is PSG's Xavi Simons. So there's another one to look out for, but it could depend on how much money and if and when Jadon Sancho wants to leave. OK, yeah, lots of ifs and whens, but what else might we see United do this summer? Where else will they be strengthening? I think they're looking at the whole squad, but in particular the forward position, because if you remember last summer, they went into the season with Anthony Marshall and Rasmus Hojland. Now, Anthony Marshall was injured for the majority of the season. Rasmus Hojland was then expected to shoulder the goal-scoring responsibility for Manchester United, came from Serie A, didn't play that many games for Atalanta, and was expected just to hit the ground running. So if there's a time in the season when he's not hitting form or he needs a rest, then maybe they can bring somebody in. Bologna's Joshua Xerxes is a player that they're looking at. He's one of a number of strikers that Manchester United are looking at, but he is a popular guy as well, because there are a number of clubs in Europe who are looking at Xerxes well. Another position potentially to keep an eye on, it doesn't look like it's emerging at the moment, but is the right back area. Now, we do know that Diogo Dallo and Aaron Juan Bissaka are at Manchester United. However, Juan Bissaka has entered the final year of his contract. And as I mentioned with Lindelof, you get to that position of sell or renew. Now, if United were to get a good offer for Aaron Juan Bissaka, I'm told that they would probably consider it. And if they were to sell him, then they would have to go into the market in that area as well. So it looks like it's going to be a really, really busy summer, both ins and outs at Old Trafford.